everybody, Johnny Arclight here. Welcome back to Downfall. So in the last episode, we got the brain for the duck. The girls come back to life, but now we need to find her some clothes. And I'm not really sure where to look for that stuff, but I thought I haven't been to the third floor yet, so I thought we would explore the third floor and see what's going on on this floor. This is a brand new area. Examine. Let's look closer. Huh. Bathroom door. Oh, it opens up. What the actual fuck? Oh, a syringe. I need that. For the poison. What? Yeah. What? Where's my wife? You will never find her. She is mine. Mine. We'll see about that. Hey, we should get a cat. What? And we'll cuddle it tight every time we feel sad. No, not like this. I'll find another way. I should probably go. It's not safe here. I don't know if that'll do anything. I need that shotgun, but it's fine. Whoa. Oh. Locked. Damn it. Well, I've got the thing to kill the first Sophie. I'll go ahead and turn the gas back on while I'm down there. I've switched it on. I'm sure one of these would give somebody a peaceful death. But which one? Oh, a peaceful death? Well, Blue drugs. Here goes nothing. It's time for your medicine, girl. Oh god, here we go. I'm gonna go murder that girl. Is this what you wanted? It seems so. 
but will it hurt? I don't really know. I hope not. You don't know? Are you sure it's... Are you even sure it's gonna kill me? There was poison written on the bottle. And a picture of a skull. Okay. That sounds about right, I guess. But I'm gonna ask you one last favor. Okay. Can you do it? What? Take that needle and stick it in my arm. I don't... I can't do it myself. Ugh, no. Please! I'm begging you! Oh, why? Oh, fuck it. I'm already doomed anyway. Give me your arm. <laughs> oh! Part of the mirror broke. Well, I'll take your dress for the girl that's back to life. Jesus Christ. Ooh, all right. Well, that was tragic and gross. I know what to do with this dress now, though. Woo, that was nasty. That was nasty. Open sesame. No, not that way, it's this way. I could wear the dress. Here, put this on. Really? A wedding dress? I'm sorry. All the shops were closed. So you just pulled this thing out of garbage? Wow, this is so neat! How did you know? I can tell already that you and me are going to be the best of friends. I'll Why is gladly that? take it back if it's not good enough for you. You can go looking for your own dress, and good luck with that. You can go looking for your own dress. Look at him all smug and condescending. You can see damn well I have no great choice here. I'd wear a chicken costume if you brought one. Then what are you moaning for? Who's moaning? You're moaning. But, okay, whatever. Fuck it. Go over there for a second and I'll put this thing on. Yeah, there's blood on it. Be honest with me. Did you butcher somebody's wife-to-be to get this dress? No, of course not. Why do I not believe you? <laughs> nice to see you. How do I look? Beautiful. Oh. Thanks. I kind of do, don't I? I never pictured myself wearing a freaking wedding dress, but hey, I guess this could totally be my new thing. Or not. It's not really my color, and it's a bit tight around the waist. 
But I guess you can't afford to be picky when you wake up covered in blood in a strange room with no recollection of who you are. How did you die? I can't remember, or don't want to. It's probably one of the two, but it could be both, or neither. Please don't be crazy like everyone else around here. I'm not. I'm a nice, happy person. I just haven't decided if I trust you enough yet. Do you at least remember your name? Why? Do you not know it? I figured we were friends. But now that you've asked, you could be anyone, really. A deranged psychopath, for all I know. Wait. Maybe I do know your name. Let me think. It was something retro. Gladys. I think. Or Phyllis. I have no idea. Oh, dear God. I can't believe you just said that. So, I was right? No, you were not right. In fact, if you had called me Gladys, I'd never speak another word to you again. <laughs> What's wrong with Gladys? What's wrong with Gladys? Everything. I have a lot going on. Can you just tell me? <sighs> it's Agnes. I knew I was close. Do you want a punch? No. Sorry. <laughs> well... Oh my god, I'm talking to somebody that's not insane. What are you going to do? I think I'm going to tag along. This room gives me the creeps. There are worse out there. Yeah, I was afraid you'd say that. But... You won't let anything happen to me, right? And what if I am the big bad wolf? Then I guess you'll find that I'm the kind of girl who builds her houses out of bricks. My name is Joe Davis, by the way. Oh, so you are Joe Davis. Of course, now it all makes sense. It does? I'm supposed to give you a message. A note. There was your name on it. And when I first saw it, I thought, Joe Davis? Who the fuck is Joe Davis? And it's you! A letter? Where did you find it? I held it all scrunched up inside my hand when I... came alive. No clothes, none of my stuff. That was the only thing I had on me. So I figured it must be important. You still got it? No, I ate it. Of course I've still got it. But since this dress doesn't have any pockets... I hid it in here. Oh. Okay. Can you turn around for a moment? I'll get it out. The note. I'll get the note out. <laughs> Is that okay? Too close. Just walk further away and give me a minute, okay? You got it. Oh, sh shit. Run! No! No! Don't you do it! Don't you do it! Oh man, did we just die? I think I think I died. Joe? What? What? What the fuck? They gave me an option. Continue as Joe or think? Agnes. Do you think I'm pretty? How about oh, you take yeah. this t-shirt off and we'll have a good look? <laughs> You'd like that very much, wouldn't you? Hell yeah, I would. Well, forget about it, Joe Davis. The t-shirt stays on. At least, until you answer my question. Okay. Ivy, you were the most stunningly beautiful person I've ever met in my life. 
And every single day, I keep reminding myself how lucky I am to be with you. Too late for compliments. <laughs> I mean it. No, I know you. You're just saying that because you're hoping to get late again. That's all. I'm not hoping to get laid. I'm hoping to make love to you. Wow. What a gentle man you are. I am smooth as Short. butter. But you're gonna have to wait, sir, I'm afraid. You know, I wish I could just not think about it, but I... Think about what? You will not understand. Try me. It's stupid. I feel like such an idiot. I hate myself for it. But it's there all the time. This inner voice trying to change who I am. I try to stop it. I try. But it always comes back. And I do it again. And again. You can talk to me about it. I can't. Really. It doesn't matter. Just worrying about nothing, I guess. You know what I'm like. I do. And I can see there's something you're not telling me. You will. You're not gonna like this. Let's just leave it. I'm here for you, Ivy. Just say what it is. Okay. I've been making myself sick. What? And I'm so sorry. I don't want to do this, but it's so easy. Just stick fingers down my throat so I can look in the mirror again and like what I see. But why? Because I'm a woman. I want to be beautiful again, Joe. You are beautiful. Please. Has someone said something mean to you again? You know you shouldn't be listening to those assholes. But it's everywhere, Joe. Those women on TV and in the magazines. Why can't I be like them? But you're not even fat. I'm size 12, Joe. 12. Promise me you'll never do it again. That's why I've told you. So I could stop. I'll help you. You'll just have to talk to me whenever you feel like doing it again. We can beat this shit together, Ives. Are you mad at me? No. I love you, Ivy. I could never be mad at you. Hey, we should get a cat. We should totally get a cat. I thought you hated cats. I never said that. It's a little unexpected. He never did say that. Okay. A cat. Why the hell not? Maybe a random happy distraction is what we need around here. Just not one of those bald little fuckers. <laughs> it will be a black ass night with eyes like two shiny emeralds. And it will stink. And purr. And scratch. And we'll cuddle it tight every time we feel sad. Poor cat. What will we name him? Him? Hmm. Oh my god, Mr. Midnight! From Franbo! Midnight? Hmm. We're getting close. But that's not it. Shadow. Shadow. Not... For a cat. Mm. A horse, maybe. Lucifer. 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 Hmm. Yes, that's good. I mean, it's bad, but it's good. You know what I mean? <laughs> I like it. So that's settled then. Maybe I'll ask this crazy lady next door if she has any kittens. 
You know how there's always plenty of cats around there. Awesome! Joe? Yeah? I love you. Aw, that was a sweet touching moment in this hellhole. No. This is not fucking happening. Am I in a coffin? I'm in a coffin. Help! Help! Let me out! Jesus is there anyone Christ. there? There's no one out there, Joe. You might as well give up now. Who the fuck it's said that? Easier that way. Who are you? It's been so long. You've forgotten their names long ago. It all just doesn't matter when you're dead. All there is left is watching. And waiting. Watching. And waiting. Watching. And waiting. Am I... dead? No. Death comes slowly. It's a process, you see. All in the right time. You have to extinguish all hope that's left. So, start scratching. Keep fighting it. We all did. Shut up. Just shut up. But Joe, we're not even here. <laughs> How do you know my name? The maggots told us. They told us all about you. Maggots that look like people. But you mustn't trust them. Maggots look because like they're people. maggots. All they want is to. All that maggots want is... To eat your fucking brain, Joe. <laughs> He's fucked up. Funny fellas, them maggots. You're just a voice in my head. Go to hell. I don't have to listen to your lies. And you're not even there. It's all in my mind. But Joe... If the voice inside your head is you, who is the one listening to it? You know very well what it is, Joe. Do I? The only way out of here. The only escape. The question is... Are you man enough to do it? Do you have the balls? Will you do what you've gotta do? Didn't I tell you to fuck off? Only trying to help, but... We're the good corpses. The only friends you've got. One pull of a trigger, and it's all over. It'll only hurt for a second. Be in charge of your own destiny. You could never have won that battle anyway. It was lost from the start. All there's left is to do the right thing and save your face. Not that there'll be much of it left if you do fire that gun. can't be my only option. This can't be my only fucking option to get out of here. Oh, okay, well, that was it for that. Not gonna blow my brains out in a coffin, that's for sure. I'm a different character now.
You see a lot of stuff going on in this room, don't you? All right, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. It's been weird. Like it. I always like it. God, it's it, this game is messed up, but it is good. So now we're playing as Agnes, which is interesting. I thought this whole game would be Joe Davis, but apparently not. So we'll see where this goes in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Like, comment, subscribe. Do what you guys do best, and I will see you guys again next time. Bye-bye.